lot of people have been asking me lately how I make super seamless slow motion using the GoPro and I decided to uh, make a tutorial showing you guys how to do it or how I do it. Anyway, um, so these are the clips I imported straight into iPhoto. Nothing's been done to them, they're just straight from your GoPro. 60 frames per second, I think it's setting R3. And so we'll go and pick a clip here. Um, I'll pick this one. Alright, so this is just 60 frames per second. Nothing's been done to it yet. Alright. Next thing you want to do is uh, open a program called MPEG Stream Clip. And I'll put a link in the info so you can download it if you don't have it. So, you want to drag the clip into MPEG Stream Clip. Go file export to QuickTime. I put my quality 100% and I use Apple ProRes 422 to convert, convert the clip or compress it. Save it to where you want to save it. You guys are also going to need Final Cut Pro Studio and Cinema Tools. And I'll also put another link in the info bar so you can download the torrent if you don't have it already. Because I, did, I had Final Cut Pro, but I didn't have Cinema Tools in the Studio package, and you're going to need that to convert it to super slow motion or just seamless slow motion. Alright, so you're, you're going to want to go to that clip you saved right here then you're going to want to open cinema tools which is right down here and it's already open and what I do is I drag the clip into cinema tools and it should pop up a little box right here and this is your clip after it's been compressed in MPEG stream clip and it's just 60 frames per second then the next thing you want to do is press conform and this is going to compress your 60 frames per second or 59.4 frames per second clip down to 30 frames per second. And that's what's going to make it slow. Um, so it's already set. And the lower you go on your frame rates, the slower it's going to be. So I'm just going to go with 30, press conform, and you can watch back. And it's pretty much seamless. So you can go back to your clip and just click on it and it should change your clip where you saved it to that, that slow motion you wanted. And after that you can just drag your clip into any editor you want to use, Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express, and then go from there and make your edits. So hope that helped you guys and uh, make sure you subscribe and comment. See ya.